Thank you so much to MTSU Shift Writing Program for accepting my poem, Bargain with Wildness, which I wrote in the snowstorm last winter, last February. I've brought that one and three more. And I'm also the host of Gestalt Poetry Open Mic, which is monthly, except for November and December. It's the fourth Saturday every month. So we have one coming up on the 26th with Jeff Cottrell. And you can go to my website at amyhoskins.com and the writing section, and you can see more about that, as well as my publications and artwork. Thank you for looking. A Bargain with Wildness. A brotherhood of winter birds acclimate above the snow at the feeder we can barely keep full. Gentle mother's white blanket has touched us all with a new silence. Comfort inside, terror and chills without. The wild survives somehow. A new gunshot across the street at Shoot Park. Just one shot this time. I run to the window, see nothing except snow. Two men leaving each other, one still, one running. No bodies, no blood to show. A return to innocence. Appearances for now. Inside out, I'm irritable after days being snowbound four inches more on the way tonight. The silence is thick. Light is blinding from the sun. Two nights ago at dusk and light fluffy snow falling. Giggles and laughter from kids enjoying their first snow in the deep dark. Videos, selfies, multiple gunshots a block away. The laughter stops resumes with a peculiar humor at the absurdity of life and death on a hair trigger, and then they are gone. More snow on the way. The thick blue comforter spares us all night. Space heater, door closed to steward the heat. The rest of the house left to the struggling HVAC, already in auxiliary mode. We have power, heat, food, friends in our bubble, Fireplace with fire and breakfast casserole to share. We disregard the bullet holes only to find joy and closeness, proximity to the frailty. Life is precious, absurd, glorious and fleeting, depending where you are, who you are. For now the snow gives a semblance of equal grace. It melts with rain next week. A brotherhood of birds at the feeder. We keep our bargain with wildness. This next one is more spring oriented. I'm very much looking forward to spring. This is my goddess. The farmer's almanac. Looking up through echinacea in summer. Watering each plant through. Save them from Tennessee heat. Looking out the window to the garden like I dreamed of as a little girl, slicing a lemon, fragrant and cheerful, cooking red beans and rice, anything, apple cake, monster cookies, Tex-Mex casserole, the sunlight comes through, the stars, fireflies landing sleepily on my arm, my leg, innocent, erotic, flowers lure bumblebees inside, all the way inside. The earth is a fertile womb, not to be feared but loved. Seeds know what to do, who to be, how to be unique. Darkness cradles us each night. Sun always returns like summer, despite our nightmares. Naturally abundant time of year. This is my goddess, living true to nurture, nature, kindness, compassion, Loving spirits watering my soul with the flowers. Blessings and Reservations The sun warms my hips. All is not lost. All is not found. Chewable vitamin C streams through my system, attacks the dreaded virus. Water lilies cloud the surface of the bath. Clouds in my mind. Storms. Deep down, deep down, we are all monkeys. Avocado on my skin, rainbows in my mind, on my hand. Still dreaming, rain or shine, feel reality in my bones. Transcend, 
dissociate. I know what you all did last summer, all the summers growing up. Even colors are only the repetition of light. The need for this is only an illusion. The mind, nothing but a rainbow, creating dreams that seem real. Translucent bees at the end of the season, full of light, working for the hive till their end, curling on the white budlea, they perish in the frost. The delusion of wanting anything except contentment, stillness, the breath of a beautiful new day. Refresh my mouth, lip balm, hibiscus, lavender, mint tea, fractured woman, girl, soothe for now. Do we dare create our days out of hair, clothes, books, music, food, flowers, but only need to breathe, to feel still? And this last one is called Underdogs, and it will be published by Alien Buddha Press in March. Underdogs. Maybe I won't erupt, said Kilauea. I thought so, said Alice. Symbol of the overwhelmed, face in hands, people of color, women, girls, disappearing, what we have in common being the underdogs. I always root for the underdog. It's my nature and a particular way of perceiving history. It burgles the truth otherwise. You accuse us of doing everything you commit. Gaslighting muddies the debate, blurs the truth in an evil mirror, shakes the house when you drive by, moves the glitter from room to room. My face pulls down with gravity. The blues, it's only natural. Ghosts are helpful guides to the morass. Juliet says hi, regretting her decisions. John Lewis says hello, regretting nothing. Persephone is back from her dark trespass, bringing the dark womb of potentiality. I learned to stand in my own over time. I paint on my cast every day like Frida, keep me safe, trapped in a body I can't control, but forever soothe, spa time for my spirit, my wounded soul, betrayed in love early on, I'm learning to love me. Chris Rock says, play the tambourine if that's your thing, I have to shake it out, my truth, till the water runs clear, and I'm at peace. Just a toy to you all. You held me the wrong way, evicted me from your heart, my hometown. In exile with a trail of dear teachers, friends who helped me walk on. We're still connected through time. Maybe I won't erupt today, I said. I thought so, said Alice. She never roots for the underdogs. We can't help the buildup inside us. Years of intolerance has an effect on us empaths. Vetting rage here and there, it's kind of all we've got. There is so little justice. Thank you so much for listening. Again, my website is www.amyhoskins.com, and I'd love to have you guys at Gestalt Poetry Open Mic on the 26th. Thank you so much.